And my name is uh, Rich Minnick, and um, I've always had a desire to be in radio. I've always been infatuated with radio, and um, even when I was a little kid, I used to pretend that I was uh, like maybe working with one of my favorite DJs. And uh, ever since then, it just was one of those undying desires, and then eventually I was able to contact the school and get some financial uh, help and find myself here today as a student. I always wanted to work in TV, and I always wanted to work in radio. And I thought broadcasting would be the perfect career for me to get into. Passion for sports and music. Um, I've loved music my entire life. Uh, I like interacting with people. And uh, it's just been a huge part of my life. It's something that I know and, um, and, and something that it wouldn't be work for me to be in a field of, uh, of broadcasting. So, Passion for interaction with people. And I love sports. I love entertainment. And I feel I should get paid for it. And I know I can do the job. So my father just told me, give him a call, and you know, a few weeks later, here I am waiting to uh, you know, finish the 10-month program. Uh, the format, I would say my, my ideal radio show would be some sort of a rock format, um, spanning from earlier rock to newer rock, uh, any, any types of things, alternative, things of that nature. I'd like to have something with a lot of, uh, a lot of promotions, uh, concert giveaways, and, and uh, you know, I, I want something that's going to be interacting with the, with the people that are out there that are listening, some you know, more of more of an, a connection than just listening to your favorite radio stations. So, flexibility. You, you lock into one radio station and you're kind of locked into whatever that rigid format is. So, um, I haven't written it all in yet. I haven't exactly written the book on my format, but I would definitely want to keep it flexible and, of course, eventually have my own radio show and be successful at that. Basically, a music format where we talk about sports. For instance, Jay Cutler, whether you thought he was tough or not. Uh, anything from Miley Cyrus taking Salvia, bong rips. Um, it's just an interaction show what people are thinking about. You know, the radio and the TV the program should be for the fans, not for myself. So that's where my show kind of heads into that direction. Basically deals with the issues of relationships, marriages, um, and amongst other issues that men and women deal with while dating and getting to know each other. My ideal radio job would be a, a, an on-air personality. Uh, however, there are so many other facets of broadcasting that I really enjoy. Uh, production, uh, the editing, uh, even just doing voiceover work too. So my number one, to answer your question, my number one job would be to be an on-air personality. And anything else after that, I, I really wouldn't have a problem with. Uh, atmosphere with someone that I can get along with and work well with. Um, I would want to, basically, the radio show would be about the fans. Uh, I would just be listening, just giving my opinions, uh, just saying actually what needs to be said. And I would actually would want to work with a co-host on the radio show. And somewhere in a nice warm city somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, not, it's not necessarily the number one thing, but working somewhere real nice and, and, uh, and just being able to, to be creative and express myself and, uh, and, and you know, work with other people. And I, I would really want to work with a bunch of open-minded, you know, like-minded people like myself. And that would pretty much be ideal for me. Be an on-air personality. But one day I want to run a station so I because I feel like I know what people want to hear. And I've been the everyday man. So I think that uh, one day maybe be a program director or a general manager of a radio station. I plan to reach my ideal radio job number one is uh, getting as much as I possibly can from the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. And number two, of course, is to graduate, get my, uh, my certificate. And to establish through the um, uh, internship is uh, establish some sort of network with people that I've worked with. And generally, I think that most people in my situation, that's how they gain, you know, full-time employment, but that's that's my plan, is to simply do my do what I'm supposed to do, what's expected of me, and uh, from there, be able to get a job pretty much through someone that I've worked for in the past. I've got a pretty good work ethic, so I'm sure there's got to be something out there for me. Work in a comfortable uh, atmosphere with someone that I can get along with and work well with. Um, I would want to... Basically, the radio show would be about the fans. Uh, I would just be listening, just giving my opinions, uh, just saying actually what needs to be said. And I would actually would want to work with a co-host on the radio show. Hopefully, uh, going through uh, Illinois Center for Broadcasting is going to give me uh, the opportunity to meet people. Um, and it's going to give me the opportunity to uh, get familiar with some of this equipment and uh, 
the terminology and the way things work, and then uh, we'll take it from there and see how see how it goes. By giving my all at this school, uh, I, I plan to reach that goal by absolutely giving everything I have, taking every tool that they give me uh, with the help of my classmates and the great faculty that's at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. I feel that's the way I'm going to be able to reach that goal and, and go where I want to be in life.